Okay, good afternoon folks. Uh, this demonstration is going to be about coil potting. Um, it's basically taking a stick of color and turning it into a bubble or tube or hollow shape form. Um, the gist of it is, remember when you were a kid and you took a clay in pottery class and rolled the clay out into like a snake and coiled it up to make a bowl? It's a similar thing here except with glass, of course. Um, I will show you in other videos different ways of making colored tubing, um, but this is one of the most basic ones. And uh, I also will get into a little bit of the explanation on memory. Uh, this will be for free on YouTube, and I will dive much deeper into detail in future videos on my Patreon site. Um, okay, so you see I'm picking out the hole there on uh, my blow tube, getting it ready. And uh, one of the benefits of picking a hole is getting a nice, round, even hole, as opposed to when you put air and puff, pop it, or other ways where you end up with a little bit of glass around the lip. Um, it's an overall good sort of habit to get into, if you ask me. And reaming the hole out just a little bit bigger. And here we go. going to use a stick of North Star Yellow number 9. Uh, it's a fumy sort of color with a lot of silver in it. Um, and I'm just handling up here real quick. And the reason I'm doing this is at the end of the demonstration, I'm going to show you a picture of the finished bubble. And the fume in the color will show the striations, uh, which will help me explain a little bit more about the memory that I'm talking about. All right, and as we get started, folks, I want you to take a sort of careful look at my left hand. And the direction that I'm spinning is a clockwise direction. And in my right hand, it'll, it'll come into frame here in just a minute. Uh, my right hand is spinning counterclockwise. Uh, and this is to ensure if there's any air bubbles, A, that I squeeze them out of the tube, um, and B, Part of the spinning motion uh, will also help with the memory of the glass, um, which I will better show you in a pic sort of at the end here. And I'm gonna do a cool, try to do a cool little thing to show you the, the, the actual coil potting and fast forward. So hang on one second, let's see if I can do that here. Okay, uh, not the best editing technique. I just sort of went uh, back and forth with the scrubber to give you sort of a boomerang effect but as you can tell the main idea here is to take the glass and feed it onto the end of the tube uh, while coil potting hence the name obviously the technique um, and making the cleanest sort of tube is not necessarily uh, your priority at the moment more so just making sure that you get lots of little coils you want the more coils the better um, here I'm going to show you that glass in just a minute and you can see it's not the cleanest tubing ever but that's okay because the more times you go around the circumference of the tube the more coils you make that'll make for better memory and when you end up blowing into the bubble it'll make it super round <clears throat> so kind of like you know say you're throwing a ball of twine around a tube a whole bunch of times that twine will hold the memory when you blow it out maybe not the best metaphor but Hopefully you get the idea. I'm gonna show you just a minute here, the finished product. And uh, like I said, the more times you can keep the coil going around the tube, the better. So I like to start with about a 12 millimeter blow tube handle uh, for my stick of color when I ream open the lip and try to keep those coils about 12 to 15 millimeters, uh, similar to the circumference of the actual blow tube that you're using. Give it a little puff here, and you'll see just a minute the bubble. And there's my shot mate doing some shit. Who knows what the fuck he's doing? Get some nice even heat base, <clears throat> and in a minute you're gonna see 
uh, me sort of bend down on the side and give it a puff while I rotate it in the Elmarver. It's a really good technique for getting a nice uh, straight round tube. Um, you can do it with a blow tube if it's easier for you. I just only use a blow tube on certain, uh, certain moves because it's kind of awkward to hold in my hand. Kind of like wearing a backpack while you're snowboarding. It's just sort of unnatural. So unless I absolutely need a blow tube, I usually opt out. Um, but in any case, uh, getting that memory in there, spinning it in the graphite marver, get you a real nice tube, which will then translate to a nice round bubble. All right, you can sort of see the striations here um, beginning to form. I'm gonna insert a clip, hang on. I'm gonna insert a clip and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. See those fumy striations going left to right? Those are your coil lines. Every time you wrap that rod around the tube, every ring that you made, um, that's why we call it coil potting, right? So in any case, folks, uh, this is an awesome way to keep your colored tubing or bubble round and roundness is one of the key focal points in glass blowing that you really want to keep in mind at all times. They make for great uh, pendants, round discs, nice squishes on bubblers, cups, feet, flares, centrifugal force, you name it. Uh, it's a really key element, folks.